fascinating. There's a lot riding on Flashpoint, boy. I mean, this is Wal- that's Walter Hamada's movie that's supposed to shift away from the Snyderverse, which he unfortunately hates so much. Walter Hamada would be beloved if he could just make up I don't know why he's even fighting with Zack Snyder because he, he never he wasn't overseeing when when that stuff went down. But they they have a problem and uh, it's ridiculous. But anyway, Walter Hamada's like, just wait until I get this all to myself. I'm gonna do it right, and that's what Flashpoint is. It's Walter Hamada's reset button, and he's allowing Andy Muschietti. Andy Muschietti is the reset button. He's gonna go boop and uh, <laughs> and push Andy Muschietti. And Andy Muschietti, you know, that's an amazing show of faith in a director who really messed up the sequel to the franchise that made him famous. But Walter Hamada's going there anyway. Remember, Walter Hamada comes from the horror division at Warner Brothers, and so does Andy Muschietti. And Andy Muschietti and Walter Hamada, because Walter Hamada signed off on this, it was said in the in the in the coverage from the trades that Walter Hamada, you know, had a say. He 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 weighed in who who they cast here, uh, and they're they're making some moves. They're making some moves. This is a Latina Supergirl, and uh, it's a big surprise. I think it's excellent. I have a lot of interesting stuff to, to not only tell you about it behind the scenes, but also uh, just, you know some you know my thoughts on it and how I think it factors into everything else. I think I think it's an exciting and a cool move and I think when you at the if you're if you're on the fence by the end of this video, I don't think you will be anymore. I think you'll be firmly in Camp Cali. Go watch some interviews with her. She's a delight. I certainly did before I made this video and I was really surprised at how much I instantly liked her. Uh, so anyway, the other reason I had a delay and besides familiarizing myself with Sasha Cali, uh, was I went and checked with my sources because I was like, what Supergirl is she even playing? I mean, this is a multiverse movie. Is she even the Supergirl? So my sources, this is what they had to say. They said that Flashpoint uh, is, it starts out in the world that we all know, but the majority of the film takes place in an alternate universe. Uh, so in that you alternate uh, in that multiverse we will meet Michael Keaton's Batman but also now Sasha Callie's Supergirl did she somehow show up in Michael Keaton's timeline you know DC Comics is uh, telling a sequel to not only Michael Keaton's Batman movie but also uh, Christopher Reeve's Superman movie so they're playing with stuff there or maybe she's from a totally different earth that I wasn't able to clarify uh, but I did hear that both of them both Keaton and Callie will come back with the flash to our main timeline and still Stick around and become Batman and Supergirl, but with the asterisks that not technically because they did come from the multiverse, and so that's very complex. And I hope that DC can pull it off. You know, it's funny. Somebody I was covering WandaVision, of course, today because it's Friday. Disney Plus owns Friday until the end of time. It sucks for everybody else, but what are you going to do? Disney Disney called it very successfully. Uh, Disney gets everywhere first, including days of the week. But, um, but anyway, uh, someone was saying, I think we're all you know, reading too much into WandaVision. And I was reminded of how I always say, Kevin Feige's mantra is keep it simple. Uh, but that's like, DC is the opposite. They're like, make it as complicated as we can. Uh, and I feel like this is like the poster. This, this movie, Flashpoint, Walter Hamada and Andy Muschietti's Flashpoint will become the poster movie for that mantra. So, but you know, they might pull it off. It, it chapter one was quite good. Uh, I've heard there's a lot of writers on this movie. So even though I think, Christina, uh, we don't have a lot of faith in the Birds of Prey writer, I think that maybe somebody else has tinkered with it and fixed it. <laughs> Fingers crossed! It's crazy. You know, it's like, how about the director of It Chapter 2 and the screenwriter of Birds of Prey? And you're like, why, why would you do that? And they're like, but we did! Also, I want to point out that if the Batman, the Batgirl Beyond plans that I heard of are still in effect, you know, with Michael Keaton training uh, the new Batgirl, we complained a lot about it, so maybe we got them to drop it. But if we didn't, well, then that would set up an all-female trinity in DC. I don't know why they would do that. I think that, that would not work for them. I mean, I'd like to see it, but not in the main movies. And, you know, maybe as a TV show, I think they have to, they have to nail the other stuff before they can play around with that. And I also feel that, unfortunately, female-led movies are, you know, they have, it's very difficult for them, you know, and I think in some ways unfairly, but again, what are you going to do? That's the world we live in, so you have to plan for that. I think, you know, even Marvel couldn't do that. People made fun of A-Force like No Tomorrow, and they have a lot of problems with Captain Marvel. So even Marvel can't get, can't get around this. But I have to say, when it comes to movies about, you know, an all-female uh, group, 
Just make Gotham City sirens. What the heck? Why is this so difficult? That's the bullseye, Warner Brothers, and you keep missing it. You're like, what about a Birds of Prey movie starring Harley Quinn? And you're like, no. What about an all-female trinity? And you're like, no. Make, you know, make Gotham City sirens. All right, so anyway. I think the casting of Latina Supergirl was probably very personal for Muschietti, who's from Argentina. You can see it's personal if you watch the video, which we'll talk about in a moment, the, you know, the, the video where he told her that she got the role. Uh, and Callie was born in Boston, uh, but she has Colombian heritage. And I know that some of you took offense with that because you want someone who's actually a, an actress from, uh, you know, a, a foreign actress brought into Hollywood. Um, and that, you know, that would be nice, but I, I, I mean, I'm curious, you know, that's not something that I can really weigh in on. So for those of you in the, um, the Latino community, uh, how do you feel about the Sasha Cali casting? I know some of you are quite excited about it because you tweeted me in all caps. Woohoo! Deadline noted Muschietti's knack, of cast, knack for casting. They're like, he's good at discovering talent. And I'm like, is he? I guess I thought about it. And I was like, you know, I think he does do a nice job. He did a great job with It Chapter 1. And even though It Chapter 2 was vastly inferior, it wasn't the actor's fault. I mean... He did shoehorn Jessica Chastain in there, but I will allow her as Hawk Girl. I actually think she'd make an excellent Hawk Girl. Uh, but I thought that the rest of the cast uh, was really inspired for It Chapter Two. Again, it was not the script's fault. I mean, it was it was the script's fault. It wasn't the cast's fault. I was just thinking script because it was so bad. So as I said, DC posted a video of Muschietti telling Callie that she got the part, and they did speak a mix of Spanish and English, which I think a number of fans will really appreciate. And again, you could tell how much it meant. I think particularly to Muschietti. I think he's really happy that he can do this. Uh, and while they speak Portuguese in Brazil, I do think that Cali will be a big hit there too. And Brazil is a huge and therefore very important market for DC. So that's great. But speaking of Brazil, how do you cast uh, Sasha Cali as Supergirl when Yara Floor is right there? I mean, maybe that's why the CW just passed on doing a, a show about Yara Floor, because they felt it would compete with the new Supergirl. But then why not just do Yara Floor? Because, you know, it's so rare. I mean, Punchline kind of was a popular, popular as soon as she was introduced, but then it never really went anywhere. But people really like Yara Floor. So that's weird to me. I'm like, why does it, it's an alternate, it's the multiverse. Why don't we just have Yara Floor in it? And they're like, no. All right, so anyway. Uh, I guess they really fell in love with Super... I guess Supergirl maybe is integral to the story. But anything that Supergirl can do, I think Yara Floor, Yara Floor can do. Uh, we'll see. So anyway, is Sasha Cali a good choice, right? Muschietti and again, Walter Hamada were blown away. And she apparently had a good read with Ezra Miller. You know, whenever you audition for a movie, not only do they have to like you for the part, but they have to do a chemistry check to make sure you, you read well with the actor you'll be appearing with. And I can't believe that Ezra Miller is still the star of this movie. All the people were changing. Can't we go find a, another alternate universe where he, someone else has been cast as the Flash and Flashpoint? But anyway, uh, and some of you, though, some of you are concerned that she's a soap opera actress. But I got to tell you, Denzel Washington got his start in soap operas, and so did Meg Ryan. So that's certainly not, uh, that's not a problem at all. I'm not, as I said, I'm not familiar with her work, but I went to watch that. I watched that DC video and some of the interviews with her. And as I said, she's incredibly likable. And what I, th I thought she was very sweet. But I also thought what came off of her in the interviews that I saw was a really nice spunkiness that I think would be actually a very good fit for Supergirl. Or Yara Floor, if you've been reading any of those comics. But, you know, the little sister of Superman. I know that she's technically older than him because of the way things work with the planets exploding and, you know, and being in stasis. But the way it's like kind of sold is that she's like the little sister. Even though actually they're also cousins. You know what I'm talking about. So anyways, Henry Cavill out, right? I'm sure a lot of you, I mean, a lot of you also have tweeted me that. Still up in the air. There's a lot of personal feelings getting in the way of business over at Warner Brothers. And as I told you, Henry Cavill has rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. Even Danny Garcia and Dwayne Johnson can't fix it just yet. I think he has a better shot at popping up in Shazam. And by the way, even though one of the trades said, oh, that's not going to happen, the director of Shazam 2 said, I don't want to talk about it because last time Superman was supposed to be in my movie, it ended up not working out. So obviously, there's still a chance that Superman will be in his next Shazam movie because that's why he doesn't want to talk about it. And I told you I heard that would happen. And and also that he would show up maybe in Black Adam. Uh, but as for doing any more Superman appearances and getting his own movie, I think J.J. Abrams is still deciding if he wants to use Henry Cavill, as I told, also reported to you. So it's up in the air. But I will say that this doesn't knock Henry Cavill out because I think he, you know, he could clearly play cousins 
with uh, Sasha Cali. I also think with her strong eyebrows and button nose, she looks a lot like Michael Turner's very famous version of Supergirl. And hey, maybe someday we'll get to see the dark side storyline where he turns Supergirl. Maybe we'll see it in Flashpoint. Maybe that's the version she's playing. My only concern, though, is the physicality of the role. And you know what? Hey, Michael Turner kind of didn't draw a great Supergirl either in that regard. But I do think it's a little unfair that male actors are asked to get in peak physical condition to play superheroes, but actresses don't have to even do anything, right? I mean, they don't, I'm not saying they have to get to the level of their male counterparts, but it doesn't have to be night and day. I think Gal Gadot did a very good job on her physicality as a Wonder Woman. Uh, I totally buy her in her performance. I think Scarlett Johansson and Florence Pugh are very good so far from what we've seen in the Black Widow movie. And Zoe Kravitz is very small and tiny, but that's a good fit with a character like Catwoman. So my only concern with Sasha Cali is having such a tiny person play Supergirl. That's my only concern. So let's see. Maybe she can sell it with her performance and I'll be like, it's not a problem at all. We'll see. Uh, and, and we'll see if that's even her actual costume, by the way, that they showed in the in the little video where he told her who she'd be playing. I mean, if it's an alternate universe, why would she have the exact same style of costume that Henry Cavill's Superman does? I mean, this is an opportunity to do something really cool with it. I don't get it. So maybe he was just holding up, you know, a mock one or something. I don't know. Maybe he's holding up like a mock, like, I don't know. Maybe Warner Bros. is just like, here, this is all we have, but we're still going to make the other one because they're only in pre-production um, for uh, Flashpoint. So anyway, uh, I'd still like my Gotham City Sirens movie. Like you can have them fight these new female heroes. It could be like the animated episode of Girls Night Out. Just give me the Gotham City Sirens movie. So what do you think of Sasha Cali as Supergirl? And what do you think of Flashpoint with this new information? Share those thoughts down below, subscribe today. And of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.